can't hog the TV. I can't hog the TV, can I? I have to let you have some of your favorite shows. Another day, another 600 miles to do. Yeah, don't don't look so excited. But I have a plan. I have a plan. Step one, get some fuel. Once this guy's done. Step two, continue driving. Continue driving as devices are ringing. Step three, find a Walmart. Get you some more kitty litter. We're, we're about out. Step five, four, three, what? Forget what step I'm on. But get down to Gainesville, Florida, deliver this load, and then try and hit the RV. Check on Cousin Eddie. I haven't checked on him or her. You're supposed to call things a her, but my RV's called Cousin Eddie. I can't, I can't call my RV a her. But once I check on Cousin Eddie, for a few minutes, possibly hook up with some of my friends real fast, the one that I gave my camera, my actual camera to, and uh, then get back out on the road. But all the stuff I have planned, none of it really entails shooting video. Vlogging. I really don't have nothing to vlog. I've been putting on about 600, 635 miles each and every day. Haven't been able to stop, try and check out places or do anything, see any summertime festivals. It's just been dead. I'm in, I'm in a slump. I'm in a YouTube slump. And I'm noticing it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to be in a slump a lot of times, because I'm realizing that most everything on YouTube is 48 hour. Every anytime you want to check it, how your videos are doing, if you got new subscribers, if you got anything, how many watch times, it's the last 28 days. It takes time. So I don't even know if I should be doing a daily. So I'm actually thinking about starting uploading a video, one video every 48 hours, giving the videos time to slowly grow, to kind of get a foot within the algorithm, which would be great and kind of relieve a little bit of stress off my shoulders because at the moment, I don't have anything to shoot video of. As a matter of fact, this video is almost over. I think one more clip of the cat being excited might be about it. But if things work out starting tomorrow, I may have somebody here in the seat beside me, which could be exciting, at least for a day. I don't think she's going to ride with me very long, but she should. Yeah, it's going to be a she. She should be here with me for possibly at least eight or nine hours and that could be some pretty great content I mean over the last two years I don't think you guys have ever seen anybody really ride with me except for the cat so all I can beg you guys is to hang on continue subscribing if you're new to the channel please click subscribe there's gonna be stuff coming I am taking a week off in July after July 4th, probably around July 20th, take my RV out, do some Disney, do some Universal. You guys will see me go and get my passport ready for a Jamaica trip and possibly Thailand. And the way my daughter's talking, Costa Rica. Well, there is something you don't see every day anymore. with a box of 
goodies. But I don't think she's going to give that driver what's in the box. I don't think the goodies in that box are what she's trying to give him. Come on, move out of my way. I got to see. I, oh, God, you stopped. He's protecting that woman. That lizard. She came walking all the way across the parking lot from behind those trailers. Yeah, you don't see that much anymore. I'm sure she's going to climb in there and they're going to park somewhere and he's going to go through what's in her box. Anyway, I don't think they're going to let me record that, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign off. Out of hours already. Out of hours. And it's so early. That's, that's my life. Work for an hour or two sleep for 14 hours, work for another hour or two, sleep for 14 hours. It's tough. Tough. Anyway, like I said, this is just going to be a short one. I am on my way back down to Florida. It just may take a little bit of time, basically because hours and everything else. So there's not really much to record. I pretty much blew all my... What did I say blow? She's out there.